Richard here with Travis at the Ways making a video based on the 2.1 software update that was released on November 23rd, 2017. So that update basically was letting everyone know that they kept their promise that they had made from the campaign on Indiegogo that uh, they were going to release a business edition which uh, lets you see a full list of your translations on their website. So it gives you access to the logs of the conversation that you had. So you can send it to whomever you need via email or even print them off. Um, it's a very handy feature if you need proof of the conversation or just in case you, know, you need to uh, communicate in specific uh, format uh, exactly what was said in that meeting. Another thing that was included in the update is that the Travis can now be used as a hotspot so there's no more need to carry any more network devices. Uh, you can connect things like your laptop or your phone you know, just with the Travis device itself. Now for that option they've added a they added it into the menu there so you can switch it on to make it a hotspot. So another thing that they've improved on is uh, improvements for China, instant recognition added, better quality translations worldwide, and Cantonese language has also been added. Before what you had was basically just Chinese simplified and traditional available. Another language that they made available offline is Japanese. Now Japanese was one of the original languages that they said was available from the very start. I believe on March 24th they said that. Um, but uh, they had some issues with the beta mode where it wasn't available offline. It was only available via Wi-Fi. Or through a sim so they've added that which is awesome because a lot of people wanted that I made a video uh, making a comparison in the translations from uh, online to offline so if you are a native speaker you should check that out or if you know Japanese as a second language uh, just check out the accuracy in its uh, in the comparison between online and offline to see how different or how closely matched they are. Uh, there are more data provider options. So they've enhanced the menu. Chinese and Spanish interfaces are now fully translated. So a lot more easier to navigate through. And re repeat after me mode is uh, something that they've added. Which is why I have the two... Uh, American flag side by side there is basically no translation it just repeats the sentence to assist in pronunciation when learning a language or helping someone with a hearing impairment so it's basically if you just want to hear an automated voice uh, say in its proper pronunciation just to help you you know aid you in learning the language a little bit better just for self practice. So, hello. Hello. See, so you can basically do that with any language that has the audio support. If you want to have help with the pronunciation, you can now do that with the device, just as practice. So, that is um, the second last thing that they added. Now, the last thing that they've added to the update was that voice recognition for many more languages, including Azerbaijani, Bulgarian, Cantonese, Danish, Malay, Maltese, Galician, and Hebrew. So those uh, voice recognition have been added for those languages. And they do promise a lot more in the near future with updates. It's only been a couple days after the last update which is the 2.0 and that was released on october 17th so 
if they're going to continue with monthly updates that's awesome uh, if you have any questions or concerns or problems issues that you've come across feel free to ask me um, I've been in contact with the Travis team on a lot of bugs that I've encountered so I'll be able to uh, help you with those questions or even pass along that information so the system you know the device is a little smoother and uh, more accessible for us users thank you very much for watching this video like and subscribe if you want to see any future videos or requests that people made if you have a request feel free to, feel free to drop that down in the comments below and i'll gladly make you that video have a good day